Hello, everybody. It is a Wednesday. Tomorrow we have some basketball. We have the Indiana State versus Seton Hall. I'm liking uh, I'm liking somebody really strong in this game actually, and it will be on the website, and you can check that out right here on Playbook. Now we get to the final four. Of course, I'd okay. Let me stop right there because everybody's talking about Caitlin Collins and what she's doing, and it's been incredible. She's had an incredible career, um, and she's doing some remarkable things. 41 points the other night in beating LSU. But this Iowa team is uh, actually pretty good. They have some other good players on the team as well. So it's not just Caitlin. And if you look at uh, the fact that she can not only score, but she leads in assists, uh, pretty good at handling the ball, doesn't turn it over too much. Uh, this is a good basketball player, and this is a good basketball team. They're going up against a tough competitor in Connecticut, but uh, they're a slight favorite. Of course, they're going to be a slight favorite because everybody's going to bet on Caitlin, so they're going to put the money on them. I like a money line play right there on Iowa uh, to win the game. I, I wouldn't lay anything more than two. Uh, it could be very close. We know that Connecticut is tough. We know their coach is tough. He's been there a lot, and he knows how to win. But I like Iowa in the game. I don't think there's any way to stop Caitlin. I think that he's going to – well, they have good players. I mean, Paige is tremendous, and, and the other players on the team, they're not really deep, so that could help them, uh, Iowa in that situation. But I like Iowa to win the game. I'd probably prefer to bet on money line rather than – Lay the spread. Now, moving on to the final four. We got Purdue, big favorite over NC State. Now, we know the big guy, 7 4. ED has had a remarkable game the last one out, but Burns is playing pretty damn good for NC State, and they are, have been remarkable. They've been a big dog, medium sized dog, and every game they're a dog, they won them all. I think that's like six or seven in a row. I would take the points with the dog here. Um, it's, you know, you, you really, you don't have a coach in Purdue that has had a great history in this spot. But Edie is, he's, uh, he's a tough player and uh, he's going to be hard to stop. If the, ref, if the referees, if the officials don't take over the game and make a mockery of the game, it should be a war. Uh, but I bring that up because I've seen it before. I can go back a couple years ago when Gonzaga played North Carolina and they immediately, the officials I'm talking about, immediately called some real ticky-tack fouls on um, Zach. I think his name was Zach. And um, he had to sit on the bench and it made a big difference in the game. I don't know that North Carolina would have won that game had they not done that. I'm not saying it'll happen again. I'm not saying there's anything shenanigans going on, but we all know that there's a lot of bad calls and we don't always know the motivation of it. So in any case, I would probably take the points and look for a war. The other game, Connecticut, I'm not going to stand in front of them. Uh, they're a freight train. They win by double digits very frequently. The spread is ridiculous. I would not lay 12 points, 11 points in this game. It It's the type of game, though, that Alabama has to hit probably 15 or 16 three-point shots to even be close. And you have to have a bad game from some of the players in Connecticut. That has not happened the last two years. They've been a freight train. And I can I really believe they'll continue to be a freight train. But the three-point shot is the fickle statistic in sports. If you're hitting them, you can beat anybody. If you're not, you can't beat anybody. Uh, for the most part, there are exceptions. 
Alabama plays fast paced. They th shoot a lot of threes. They make a lot of threes. They have a coach that knows how to play offense. Defensively, they're weak. Connecticut is strong on both ends of the floor. They also shoot threes and, and they have games where they don't hit them very well. So that, that's the fickle part about college basketball now that we have the three-point shot, which has been around for a couple decades. But Connecticut is the better team. They're the deeper team. They have the big guy inside. They will play fast if you make them play fast, and Alabama probably will. I probably would favor playing the over in this game. And I would, I like Connecticut to win it. I like them to win the whole thing. I like them to beat Purdue or North Carolina State in the final. But I'm not going to lay 11 or 12 points. It's just too big a number. And... Uh, so I think the probably the right play in this game is to bet the over. I think mm. Alabama is going to push the pace, and Connecticut will go along with that because they have the talent to do so. So check out the website, uh, and we will um, have our games posted real quick.